Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Eric, I'm with Teach Go High Level, and in this video is part two about opportunities and pipelines. Specifically, we're gonna talk about how to set up a pipeline and how it relates to your dashboard so you can have great visibility as a leader or as a manager on how your team is managing your deal flow. All right, so let's dig into it. So to set up a new pipeline, so this is a maybe a new sales process or a separate product offering. There's a lot of different use cases for it. Again, if you remember in the other video, my recommendation is to use the opportunity section primarily for sales because the dashboard is gonna only show data across all your pipelines. Now, you can nuance it a bit, but if you're using this for like fulfillment or process, just know that that's gonna affect your dashboard data. Doesn't mean you can't use it for that, totally fine, but it is gonna have an effect on it. So to create a new pipeline, we're gonna go here to pipelines. This is gonna show you all your pipelines. Now, I wanna create a new one, and the pipeline name is, I'm gonna say it is new sales product offer. Now, you can think through what your stages are. So I'm gonna go with new lead, we'll say new opt-in, let's say I'm selling online. And then you're gonna list out all your stages. So we'll say uh, lead, booked appointment, appointment no show. So let's say they don't show up to their appointment. Offer made, we'll say long-term follow-up. Something like that. Again, you can add or subtract as you need to. Now, let's say you have an idea later on. I'm like, oh, you know what? Right after new opt-in, I want application complete. Let's say I have an application process. So application complete. You use these little up and down arrows to move it up and down your pipeline. So now I move it up to the place. Now, there's a couple of things to think about here when you're setting this up. Some of these might be important sales logistical steps but they don't need to be visible in your reports on the dashboard. So this is gonna allow you to customize that. First, you need to decide, do I want this pipeline to even be visible in the funnel chart or in the pie chart? You can select that. And then if you want it to be in there, but you wanna exclude a step such as appointment no-show, that's an important sales stage, but it doesn't really relate to driving towards the goal of one necessarily. So you can hide that stage from the dashboard, all right? So I deselected both of those. Now, I'm gonna hit save, and there it is right there. So now if I'm working out of my opportunities tab, let's say I have a salesperson and they sell for two different product lines and they need to toggle between them. In this drop-down box, you'll be able to toggle between them, okay? And at any time you can add or subtract stages as necessary. But keep in mind, if you have opportunities in a stage, and you delete that stage, what happens to the opportunities? Well, this has gone through a couple of different stages with Go High Level. As of the filming of this video, if you delete a stage, it moves them to, I believe, the previous stage. That doesn't mean it's gonna stay that way in the future. So I would say, if you're gonna delete a stage, do some housekeeping first and move them, dispo them, disposition, meaning change their status from open to one lost or abandoned. Do your housekeeping first before you delete anything. It's a good rule of thumb in general. Let's talk about how this relates to the dashboard because we have two pipelines going now. In the dashboard, so everybody has a basic dashboard from the beginning. This main dashboard and there's certain widgets that are gonna take all your pipelines in totality towards the dashboard and you can't segment between them. If you wanna do that, you have to set up custom widgets. And going through here, you're gonna be able to see your opportunity status. So status is again being open, one, lost, or abandoned. So of all, let's say you have 100 opportunities. In this time period, we have gotten 62 of the opportunities that we have, and this is how many are open, this is how many are won, this is how many are lost, and this is how many we abandoned. Opportunity value is drawn from that value box in the opportunity card, and it's gonna total it up. Your conversion rate is when you mark them one, if you mark 10 one in this given time period out of a total of 50, it's gonna show you a percentage of how many you have converted to one. The funnel and stage distribution. Some people get confused by this. The funnel distribution, and remember we can leave stages out here. The funnel shows you how they're progressing through there. So that's from start to finish. If 100% start at step one, what percent 
move to the next step and so on and so forth. So these numbers right here, you should see them ticking down progressively, right? The stage distribution is not how they're moving through the funnel, but where are they at across the landscape? So across all five or 10 stages that you have, how are the contacts spread out? That might indicate that you have a sort of lag where they're getting stuck possibly, or your lead flow is falling behind and not catching up. So you have a big mush of contacts in a certain stage, but not a lot coming behind it. This all relates back to pipeline management, especially if you are a sales manager and owner, this is gonna give you data on number one, how are they progressing through at what percentages, but two, are we backpiling somewhere? Is there something holding them up at a certain stage? Do we need to split one stage maybe into multiple stages? Did I do something different with my marketing that caused my lead flow to go down? Again, these are gonna help you give your sales management and sales team intelligence around what's happening. That if you have a marketing team, you can pass that back to them. If it's your responsibility, it's time to do something with marketing. Now, a couple quick notes on the dashboard. You can edit it, all right? Certain people have access to edit this, it's admins, but you can add a widget, you can create your own based on certain different things. So you can also have, you know, how many appointments do we have? How many contacts did we get? How many emails? There's a lot of different ones that you can build in here, but it's the main ones come by default. You can create additional ones for marketing and different things like that, which we're gonna cover all that in a separate video on how to set up custom dashboards depending on what you need. In general, if you're in a management position or you're a one-man operation, opportunities and pipelines can really give you a lot of actionable data if you have good housekeeping. This is the biggest thing that I see when people try to use the opportunity pipeline. It's really great and you can get all that data and visibility, but it comes down to good housekeeping. Are you filling out the notes? Are you properly dispositioning your opportunities? Are you moving them through the stages when they do that? Yes, you can automate some of it, and that's a really good time-saving thing to do. But if you don't have good housekeeping, you will not have good data. And if you don't have good data, it's hard to make those really intelligent decisions on what to do next. So, opportunities and pipelines, super powerful. You don't need to be fully organized, but you do need to have good housekeeping. And that's it for this section. Again, my name's Eric, this is Teach Go High Level, and it's time to take your opportunities and sales game to the next level.